All right, I'm back. We use hard ground gauges to gauge our connections. On the quick, we use a go, no go stick. You got 0.620 this side. This side gives you 625. This is 620. And this step right here is your max, 635. You put in 620, 635. You can see 635 goes in, so it's too big. I need to take another pass or two. So we'll put some veneer calipers in here. And we're at 648. So I'm just a hair off. Let's set this over here. I think you can still see. I'm going to take one more path. To make the program take one pass, you got to change this number here. We're going to change it to uh, 1480. And I need it to go in 13 thousandths. Looking at my little chart I got here on the two taper, if I change it two thousandths, it'll move 10. I'm already at 118, so I'm gonna change it to negative 119 and a half. I only need it to go in a little bit. I wanna see what that does. And if you watch that number there, as soon as I hit start, that number's gonna change. That's the computer recognizing the change that I made. See it changed by one and a half. Now I can start. Like I said, because I changed that Q number, now this time I told it's going to take two passes. One's it called the uh, one's just an interference pass. Make sure there's nothing in the way. There wasn't no push off. This pass here is the actual cutting pass. It's called a spring pass. It's just a light little cut. Now we'll go to the no-go again. Again, I don't know if you can see the 620. That's your that's your minimum and that's your max. And this is your median. And now my minimum will go in, but max won't. And my median barely goes in. But because I don't have a good number, it has to be has to be right. We're gonna check it with the veneers. And the veneer says it's 0 0.630. That's why the the big side won't go in. But the medium does and has wobble. Alright. That is how we cut a five and a half full hole double shoulder rotary connection. Because you're also oiled on the oil field. Let me take this off the tree. Because this is for drilling for oil, there's actually a fluid 
called mud. Uh, they use what's called a, a mud motor to pump uh, fluid through the centers of these. So we got to clean up the ID, the entrance. Cutting a 30 degree taper on the ID to help fluid flow, to help direct fluid, so it's not hitting just a flat wall. I'll explain this in just a second. I can Let's explain something real quick because I told you what this is called and a lot of y'all don't even know. Uh, this is called a five and a half four hole double shoulder rotary connection. It's a pin. It's an external thread so it would be called a pin. This is a ceiling face and this is a ceiling face. That's why it's called a double shoulder. You got one shoulder, two shoulders. That's also why I said that the, the length on this is critical. The tolerance on it is uh, three thousandths of an inch. That's how much room you have to be wrong. It has to be five point uh, uh, five point four twenty six to five point four twenty nine. Right now I'm at five point four twenty seven, so I still got two thousandths to be at the max length. Uh, on a standard rotary connection. This is a small version of a standard rotary connection. This is a three and a half IF pin. Basic same thread style, same thread profile. This isn't as deep as the one I just cut. This is only 121 thousandths deep. The one that's in the machine right now is 147 thousandths deep. Here's your bevel and then here's your ceiling face. This is the shoulder. This is what seals this, these two connections together. When they screw the other one on top of here, these two faces, when they made up and they tighten it down, it becomes a seal. So no mud can come out. But, and then this side doesn't really matter. It doesn't touch anything because it goes into a standard box. I'll show you what this box, what the box looks like that this goes in uh, next. But like I was saying, on this one it's a double shoulder because this is a sealing surface as well as this one. Uh, it has two seals because of the pressure of the mud coming through. They don't want it to shoot out. The mud is at a high enough pressure that it will actually eat into, if there's a small crack, small uh, deviation right here, it will start to seep through it and eventually cut through it like a pressure washer. And it'll cut all the way through this entire chunk of steel. This is seven and a quarter inches in diameter. And it'll cut through it like a hot knife through butter. Once it starts to go, it is just like a pressure washer. It's called a washout. Anyway, on to the next one.